Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drones. Today we've got the Eosheen VR D3 goggles. These have just come out. I haven't seen another video of these on YouTube, so I wanted to get it up there quickly so you could have a look at them. They are a box goggle with the difference. And this is what you get. This is the box. In the box you get the goggles and all the bits you've seen on there. I'll put them together, I'll show you that in a minute. And some spare foams. Now these are the thinner foams. You get thicker foam and thin foam around your eyes. USB cable and a cleaning cloth. So, this is what you get. So, these are dual antenna, not to be confused with diversity. These actually use two antennas. So, you get these what come with it. So, you get the patch antenna with it and the polarized antenna. They are rechargeable. So, you don't have to put a battery in these. The batteries come in it. There's charging port underneath here. And it charges in about an hour. So, these are the connectors. So, as you see, it's got standard connectors, and you get these in the box. So, these currently are forty-seven pound, I think, on a, a probably a special offer at Banggood. Whether that is a special offer, I don't know. Now, the big difference between these and any other ones I've used is these are just. Now, I can't use standard box hooks, so I couldn't use the VR 06s, and I've also got some VR D2s, Pros, I can't use them either because of my eyes. But these, if I pull them out to the full extent, are absolutely perfect for my eyes. This is the foam, and the foam's that stuff like home. Fat Sharks, it just pulls off. It's not sticky, it's, it's like a very micro fine Velcro. It has a DVR. So it's built in the top there and it's got the nicest functions buttons I've ever seen. So to turn it on is this button here. That's your on power on button. Hold it in. Have I got them the wrong way around? There you go. So you can see it's powered on. If you can see that very well in there. So let me just connect it to this. Let me just connect it to this quad here. And hopefully you'll be able to see inside. So we're going to hit the auto scan button. Which is this button. Which is this button here. I'm going to hold that in. And it will scan through to find the best signal. As you see, it's gone on there. It'll come on and off until it finds the one that it's most happy with. So the main difference between these, there you go. So as you can see, it's found it. I hope you can see how that shows up well enough on the camera. Now. These have got a, a, a high definition screen. It's a three inch screen in there and it's apparently running at 900 by 600. Now, I'm not sure about that actually, to be fair, but it is very clear. I hope you can see that. You're probably not going to be able to give full clarity on it. It's difficult to show goggles through a camera, but you get the general idea. So, on here you've got menu button and you've got your up and down button. So, your menu button is, let me get my manual out. You can see I've only just bought these. So, your menu button is this one here. So if you press that, you'll see it's got backlight, you see on there. Brightness, contrast, saturation, input, AV or DVR, and frequency display on or off. And then to move it up and down are these buttons here. They become your plus and your minuses. And you can also change channels with them buttons. So, these could do with being labelled. That's the only thing I found a bit annoying about it, is you have to get the manual out. When you've used them a few times, I'm guessing, you're gonna, it's going to be easier. So, that's your scan button, that's your minus button, that's your menu button, and that's your plus button. And your, your, your power on and off is also your scan button. So the DVR is on the top there, and you can see that little light that's lit up? Just start recording. That is all you do. Press that button once. No messing around in the menu, turning it on or off or anything like that. And then press it again to stop your video recording. I don't think you can get much easier than that.
And there you go. As you can see the picture's great. I'm going to put a video on at the end, a quick video of me flying this around my lounge and you can see what the video looks like through the DVR. It does look decent. For the money, I think these are great. These are so much better than the, even the VRD2s. This is, and um, the, the DVR on them's alright, but I think this is better. Uh, they're a really nice set. Of, they're very small, as you can see, they're only small goggles. They're the size of it, they're just a bit bigger than the VR006s. They're not big at all, they're very, very light on your head. They're comfortable, the strap's nice, and the build quality is quite good. You know, they don't feel too flimsy or anything, there's a bit of, bit of, bit of decent made about them. As I say, they'll suit most people's eyes. So as you can see, you can go right in, that's all the way out. It would have been nice if they had a little wheel to adjust on here, but they've obviously tried to keep the cost down, and it's worked. So, when I bought these, I bought these in a bit of a punt, I didn't know how good they'd be. I've not seen any reviews of them, and you think to yourself, because the 900 by 600 screens are an odd size for a 3 inch screen to have that pixels, but we'll see, uh, I'm not sure what it is, I don't know if it is that for definite, but it does look super clear when you flying with them, it's fantastic, can't fault it at all. So for the money, I highly recommend these. Now the price before, when you, before the pre-order came out was £67, so they're actually 20 odd pounds less than what they were now. If they go to £67, I don't know if I would recommend them, but at 47 definitely. So if you're, if you're after some and you do fancy getting them, I'd buy them now before that price goes up. Because at 47 quid, it's a bit of a no-brainer. The manual's decent that you get with it, and you do need it because of the fact they should have labelled these buttons. The only thing I can fault them on is no labelling on the buttons. The DVR recorder works fantastically, and it does what it says on the box. I haven't tried them on range because literally just bought them. I can't fly outside with them, but I've had no break-up flying them in the house whatsoever, even if I'm not in the same room. So, I highly recommend them. So thanks ever so much for watching. I'm going to leave you a quick minute's worth of video of me flying it around the lounge so you can see what the quality looks like and have a great day.